How's it going everyone? I apologize for my long absence, but I'm back with a new plugin for RPG Maker MZ. This plugin is called Freezia Animated Faces. This plugin allows you to make animated faces for your dialogue sequences. It's really powerful and relatively easy to use once you get the hang of it. With this plugin, you can set up a talk animation, which will make the face used look like it's talking while the message is being typed out. On top of that, you can also specify an idle animation, which will be used anytime you use a pause escape code, or it will also play after the message has finished typing itself out. On top of that, you can also use custom animations at any time during the message. This can be useful for making a character, for example, smile mid-sentence or maybe blush as well, or even change up the talking animation. Or you can even specify an animation where the character's lips don't move to indicate that they're thinking rather than talking. Alright, so let's jump into the game. I already have an animated face set up and a character utilizing it. Now, this specific face set was made by Amy Soros on RPG Maker web forums. So, credits to her for the amazing work she's done. She actually has a large amount of faces available for the RTP actors. I'll leave a link to her thread down below. Now, I did have to do some minor editing to get the faces how I wanted them. So, just be aware, you might need to edit the faces to get them how you want as well. But, to be honest, I have almost no skill with artwork. And, uh, I managed just fine. So, the average person with some basic knowledge of how to use GIMP or Photoshop should be all right. Now, I'm sorry for the poor writing. I just kind of typed the first things that popped into my head. Uh, it's really bad, I know. But the point isn't the dialogue, it's the faces being used. You can see the face stops talking when there's a pause, for example, after hello, and then continues talking after the pause ends. And you might have also noticed a custom animation where she has a smile on her face as well. And on this next message, you'll see the character smile for one second before it even starts talking. This is a custom animation that can be called through a special escape character, which is backslash AF, then the animation name within brackets. I also changed the character's talking animation in the middle of that message to be a little bit more serious. Now something that's pretty cool is that you can specify pretty much a unlimited amount of face sets. Oh, and if you're wondering, only faces that you specify will be animated. If the face set doesn't have an animation data, then it will just be used like a normal face set. I'll talk to one of the other NPCs here, and they all work like you would expect with default RPG Maker MZ. Alright, so let's jump over to the plugin manager and check out how this is set up. First up we have animated faces. This is a list of all the face sets that are animated. I only have one animated face set, but you can specify as many as you need. I'm just going to go over the existing one rather than creating a whole new one. So when creating an animated face set, the first thing you need to do is tell it what face set is going to be animated. Just select the face set you want to animate, and that's it. Next we have animations. This is a list of all the animations within the face set. You can specify as many as you want here. I'm just going to click on the first one here and we'll explore the parameters that are available. So the first parameter we have is animation name. This is the name of the animation that is used to specify the talk animation 
for the idle animation, as well as what you use to play custom animations via the backslash AF command. So it's important to remember your animation names. Next, we have start frame and end frame. Now I have a visual representation here for these parameters. And this is the same face set I used for my animated face. The only difference is I added numbers onto it to show where each frame is. So for this particular animation, I named Talking. The animation will start playing from frame 9 on this image and stop playing at frame 12. My idle animation is actually frame 13 to frame 16. For this one, I have three frames that are exactly the same with the eyes open and one frame with the eyes closed. For the smile animation that I used, it only has one frame. So the start frame and the end frame are actually the same. And that is four, meaning that there's no animation at all. It just shows a single frame of the character smiling. Next up, we have the parameter frame time. Frame time determines how long each frame of the animation will stay on screen in frames per second. 60 would be one second. For example, this talking animation has a frame time of three. So in short, it will show face nine for three frames, move to face 10, show it for three frames, then face 11, show it for three frames, and finally move to face 12. And again, it will show it for three frames. After that, we have loop. Now, this one's pretty important. For your talking animations and your idle animations, you absolutely need to set loop to true because you want the animation to repeat itself. Finally, we have wait for completion. This is useful if, for example, you want to make the character smile mid-message or you want to make the character blush or something, you would set wait for completion to true. That way, the message will pause while the animation is being played. This saves you the hassle of trying to manually pause the message while a specific animation is playing. For example, if you remember the smile animation that played in the second message I set up, it has wait for completion set to true. So anytime I use the smile animation, it will automatically pause the message until the animation finishes. Alright, so after our animations are all set up, you can specify a talk animation and a idle animation and you just use the name of the animation that you want to be used. And that's all there is to animating faces, but I also added an extra feature into this plugin. Now, this is purely optional, and it does not work with Visistella Options Core, but it's also not needed if you're using that plugin anyways. If you enable Manipulate Message Speed, then your players will be able to choose in their options how fast messages are typed out. They will have three options, slow, normal, and fast, and you can manually specify the value of each speed via the three message speed values below manipulate message speed. Well, I guess that's it for this plugin, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.